When did you think you were good enough to be a professional TV writer? The answer is never, really. Let me tell you my story. Right after college, I graduated. I'm from New York. I get in my car. I pull out the driveway. I take a left. I drive left all the way to California. I knew no one in Los Angeles. I had no friends, no family, no contacts in the business. I get to LA. I take some screenwriting courses. That part's important because you have to learn the craft. I write scripts. One of these scripts, after like a couple of years, gets on the desk of a big shot uh, agent and she calls me and she goes Michael this is great every year I sign one new baby writer and that baby writer goes on to greatness and this year the baby writer is you and she's blown so much smoke up my ass it tickles it tickles guys I'm on cloud nine I go home I sober up and I'm like hmm I wonder what happened to the baby writer a couple years you know before me I call up this one guy track him down and I'm like hey sir what show are you writing on he's like dude I work at a record store that's a quote we decide to trade scripts because we're the competition, we're, you know, and I read his script. I'm like, damn, this is really good. He reads my script. He's like, damn, this is really good. And I'm the flavor of the month. And he knows it. He's the flavor of last month. And we also know that in a couple months, I won't be the flavor of the month anymore. So we decided to team up and we start writing scripts together. And our scripts together were better than the scripts we're writing alone. And we write script after, we met every day, nights, weekends, holidays, writing script after script. Over the course of a couple of years, we probably wrote six or eight scripts together. Even after the first one, which we thought was really good, we're like, nope, we gotta write a better one. We gotta write a better one, because that's discipline. Talent, even if your talent's 100, talent plus zero discipline equals zero. What kind of math is that? That's real world math. Okay, so we got a lot of discipline, we're writing all these scripts. After a couple of years, one of our scripts gets on the desk of Steve Levitan. He had a brand new show. It wasn't even on the air yet. It was called Just Shoot Me. He calls us in. He, hire, he likes the script. He hires us. Now, here's the catch, right? The script that he hired us from was the very first one we wrote together. But in our minds, nothing was ever going to be good enough. We had to keep getting better and better and better. And yet that one was, was really good. But the fact that we were kept on writing all those other scripts meant that we were now prepared to be on a staff so that we wouldn't get fired because the more you write, the better you get. Now, here's the thing. I have a free newsletter. I can't tell you where it is because the algorithm will limit the reach if I tell you where it is. So I have to give you clues. The clues are over here. Most of you are not going to go get it because you're like, eh, do I really want to? What if the next video is a 50-year-old guy getting hit in the nuts with a wiffle ball bat? I don't want to miss that. So no discipline. Forget about it. Can't help those guys. But some of you are going to be like, eh. I know it's a little extra step, but I'll track it down and I'll get in this guy's newsletter because I give out tips that are free on how to get into the industry, how to be a better writer. Like I said, most of you aren't going to do it because you just don't have the discipline. That's fine. But the ones who are going to figure it out and get there, good things will probably be headed your way. Go grab it, right? It's free. Over here, I can't say where it is. Go get it.